How's it going YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about workhorse stock and this is a subscriber special because somebody asked for me to make a video on this. So I actually hadn't even heard of workhorse stock before I even did all this research and found my opinions on it. So workhorse stock we're going to be diving into and it's pretty interesting stock as well. So we'll see if it's a buy, a sell, or a hold. Like and sub if you enjoy the content and if you leave something in the comments I'll go ahead and look up a stock that you want to. So go ahead and leave a comment and we'll get to that as well. So let's see what we got cooking for workhorse. So I had to look up what even was Workhorse because I didn't know what it was. So always know what you're buying. So what is Workhorse? So Workhorse is a delivery EV electric vehicle company and they're in the delivery space. So kind of like a UPS, like those big trucks. What do they have? They have two main vehicles. They have the C650 and the C1000. Now what do these numbers mean at the end? That's just the cubic feet in space that they have in the back of the vehicle. So this one has 650 cubic feet of space for storage and packages and all that stuff. And this one has 1000 cubic feet of storage space. They are 100% electric vehicles and they have a C-series battery pack, which I'm not 100% sure what that exactly means, but a C-series battery pack and they are 100% electric. So somebody can leave a comment if they know exactly what that means. The most exciting thing I kind of saw was they have this Metron telematics system and this can optimize the roots of the trucks and make it so that your energy is more efficient and it seems like it's a way to make your deliveries the most efficient. So looking into that, that was kind of interesting how they can optimize routes and they can optimize how you're using your fuel and you can optimize just the travel of the vehicle. So that I thought was really, really cool. So that is basically a super simple overview of what Workhorse is. They make large delivery vehicles and then they are going to sell them and then they have systems to monitor those vehicles to hopefully improve their efficiency. So that is just very, very simply what Workhorse is. All right, so Workhorse, and here's the ticker symbol too if you guys wanna do a little bit of research on it is WKHS. So why did it pop in June? So if you look back and you just look at the chart, you'll see from June, it was only a two buck chuck. Two buck and chuckaroo there. So it went from $2 all the way up to $15. This sucker almost 8 x so why did it almost 8x? Did something huge happen? Well, of course, stuff doesn't just fly for no reason, right guys? So both EV trucks, the 650 and 1000, they both passed federal safety testing, meaning they're able to produce some and sell some of these bad boys. So that is awesome news that they can finally sell their product, because what are you if you can't sell a product? You're a uh, like a Nikola, <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. I don't want to catch any flack for that one. But uh, yeah, so they were able to sell their product and that's why they've 8X. So now I'm gonna look into their values and the revenues and everything and let's see if $15 is kind of overvalued for these guys right now. La 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 Okay, so let's look at the financials here. And I found all of these on either Yahoo Finance or Market Watch is generally where I do my research and I look up balance sheets, finances, revenues, all that stuff. So that's where I found this information. Always do your own research and look this stuff up because who knows, I could just be lying about all of these numbers. So always do your own research. Anyway, so the financials on Workhorse. So I looked through all of the quarters and I wanna see their revenues start to rise. Why do I wanna see that? Well, we're not gonna make money if they're not making money, right? And growing. So we wanna make sure they are growing and making money. So quarter number two in 2019, their revenue was minus 20 million. Quarter number three, not that much better in 2019, minus 11.5 million. Needless to say, there's a serious cash burn issue here. Fourth quarter 2019, they actually were positive. I mean, and this is just peanuts, the 655K, but you know, it's positive and that's great. That's heading in the right direction. And then first quarter for Workhorse was almost $5 million. And I put a little happy guy here. Look how happy he is, his little body. He's gonna give a thumbs up. No, oh, I don't wanna do a middle finger, but he's happy. So five million there. And then the next quarter, we're gonna go ahead and see if they're actually going to be making sales. So next quarter would kind of be the big one for me to see if they still have cash burn issues. I hate cash burn issues. I don't like the idea of a company going bankrupt ever. So, you know, cause you lose your whole entire investment. So that would suck. So let's go ahead and hop over to the left side of the board. This, this board never gets any love. So left side of the board here. So market cap, it's worth 1.42 billion. And often when I want to see if a company is overvalued in my eyes, I'll write up out the whole number because when you see 1.42, it can kind of simplify it. So, you know, there's 420 million, there's 1.4 billion. That is what this company is valued at right now today. If somebody were to buy this company, 
they would pay that much money. So I always like to think, would that be worth it? If I had $1.4 billion, would I buy this company? And if the answer is no, then I wouldn't buy their stock because I don't wanna buy this company, right? Makes sense. So I like to also look at their total assets and their total liabilities. And I like the assets to outweigh the liabilities by quite some amounts, you know? But on these startups, there's often lots of liabilities. So asset-wise, they had 50 million in assets. And I like to write it all the way out so you can kind of get a picture of this here. 50 million in assets. Total liabilities is 85 million. So right out the gate, they're worth $1.42 billion. Billion, this is how much it is. And assets wise, they're at negative 35 million. So is the idea of electric cargo vehicles in that type of space worth almost one and a half billion dollars? And I mean, honestly, for me, I would say probably not. So I would think more overvalued than anything else at the moment. I could totally see the value because it had recently ADEXed. And when share price ADEX, the market cap you know, would have ADEXed as well. So I mean, if you would divide that by eight, I could see the value being a little more appealing when we're not in the billion range. I mean, even if we knock that in half the 700 million range, that'd be a little more reasonable to me right now. So let's just hop into some final thoughts and I'll tell you whether I think it's a buy, sell, or hold here. All right, guys, so what is our workhorse final thought? So let's break down a optimal amount of vehicles they could sell. So based on their website, it sounds like from 2020, they are hoping to sell 300 to 400 vans. And I swear to you guys, I look for hours to try and find the price of these stupid vans. I shouldn't even say that because that's mean, but I could not find it. So I was even gonna contact the sales rep, but I felt like that might've been a little too far and I didn't wanna like do that. So, um, so I looked up generally how much a new UPS truck is and generally speaking, it's 120 k for a brand new UPS delivery truck. So that's kind of what I base these numbers on. And for the sake of math, we could say, you know, I'm saying each one is going for 100 k But you could, if you think 200 k then you could obviously double these numbers and kind of get there from, from there. But for the sake of math, I just did easy numbers. So let's say in 2020, they sold 100 vans. Their income then, or their revenue would be 10 million, but they still have all of that cost to get to that amount of revenue. So they're still probably not gonna be profitable for a long, long time. And if they sell the optimal amount of vans, 400, which is on the high end of the spectrum, that's 40 million. And even if they're selling these for 200K, let's say we double that, that's still 80 million. And they're still valued at you know 1.5 billion so that 80 million of revenue you know that fits in there like that and they still have negative balance sheets and they're probably still gonna be negative for a long time in my opinion so you know that just doesn't that doesn't cut it for me even with that I need 86 earnings which is the estimated earnings time to be absolutely killer for these guys I would need truck deliveries I would need their earnings to go up by quite a bit. I mean, what was last quarter? Last quarter was like 5 million. So I need that to go up quite a bit if I'm expecting them to hopefully end up making, you know, 80 million this year, which is what they said they're going to try and sell 300 to 400 vans. So for them to make that 80 or 40 million, they're going to need their revenue to be quite nice. They're going to need probably at least $10 million worth of revenue coming in and quite a few van sales, which if that happened, that could kind of change my mind a little bit. So let's jump into my thoughts. And guys, these are my opinions and I hate to poo poo on a stock, you know, um, but these are my opinions. You know, if you think, Hey, you're dumb, then yeah, that's fine. You know, this is just my opinion. And if I don't want to touch things, that's my plan. So my thoughts is I think the cash burns high, very, very high. Uh, I'm worried it's going to take some time to get to profitability. I'm not sure if there's a huge market right now for uh, big EV UPS trucks. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a very tappable market. Very large amount of money in that industry. So I think it could be a very, very tappable market. And I don't think Tesla's got their darn EV clause in there yet. I could be wrong on that. But I don't think they have their clause on that yet. Valuation, I think all of the EVs, somewhat minus Neo, which I have a video about, I think a lot of the EVs are kind of heading towards bubble territory. And I think Workhorse with its $2 to 15 possibly has entered that zone. I think it could fall quite a bit. And the valuation for me doesn't really make sense on this one yet because we haven't really seen sales and they don't have a lot of assets. And I just need to need to see some like van sales. So if you guys know me, you know I am a Neo fan, a fan boy. So I'm a fanboy because they have sales and they've kind of proven to me all of the things that I want. They're gonna start getting nice revenues. They have sales. 
They've been going up and up like crazy, explosive, explosive growth. I just need to see these things from Workhorse before I'd even you know, consider buying. And they're a US company, so I'd hate to poo poo on them. But for me, guys, I'm gonna say not a buy. Certainly not a buy. And if I own some, you know, I'd say probably a sell in my eyes or possibly a hold. If you think the next quarter is gonna be killer, which I am not 100% sure, I would say possibly a hold. But, you know, on the high end of things, we're talking $80 million of revenue this year. And, you know, we haven't seen that quite that, frankly, from the first quarter. We've seen $5 million of revenue. So we're gonna need to see a really nice quarter here. So we'll see what they say. My thoughts are not a buy, probably a sell or a hold right now. And, you know, if you enjoy the content, please like and sub. This is my opinion. If you disagree with it, you know, that's fine. You go do your own thing. Uh, this one I just can't touch. So, you know, thanks for watching, like, and sub, and we'll see you on the next one. Make a bunch of money.